Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday, and welcome to my Plyo Spring Boot Camp. Jumping into spring, plyometrics. What is it? Before we start, right? Sounds scary. It's exercise with a little jump, with a little explosiveness. Is it meant for everybody? Absolutely not. My workouts, one size does not fit all, but if you can do it, give it a shot. It's amazing. It will get you stronger, build endurance, build explosiveness in your muscles and your tendons. It'll churn and burn those calories, so it's a great weight loss. Are we gonna do it every day? Absolutely not. One to two times a week, it's great, incorporate it into your other workouts. You can add elements, you can do a plyo push-up, you can do a jump squat, you can do a burpee, add one of those plyo moves into your workout and you'll see amazing results. Better endurance, better energy, better confidence. Don't be afraid, fear is not an option. If you need to break something down today, do it. Keep your body moving, that's a key. If you've got injury, anything with your knee, your back, your shoulders, modify or I probably would not do plyo today. But don't sign off, keep it moving. You ready to go guys? I'm gonna get the music going. And the way I'm gonna set this up is I'm gonna break it down into sections, okay? I'm gonna start with a basic squat just to warm up and connect everything. Remember, mind and body. And by the way, you're in my living room and we are on honeycomb.fit, the place for health and wellness and everything good. I'm gonna do 15 repetitions, sitting back in my heels. We know how to squat now, core is tight. It's been almost two weeks with me. Remember, form is key. Mind and body, every movement. Every movement, core, butt, leg. All right, a little jump jack to modify, right? Just a little plyo, right out here. Waking everything up, getting the heart rate going rolling back and I'm gonna break it down into some sections lower body upper body some crazy explosive pile full body and then a little recovery all right we're gonna go right to skater jump right here You know, when people think about plyometrics, they think it's only meant for athletes. Guess what? It's meant for the athlete in all of us, young or old. I know it makes me feel young, er, my daughter said I'm not old. And I'm reaching down, I'm getting my glutes, I'm getting my thighs, I'm getting my core, reaching, I'm feeling grateful and I'm feeling alive. Alright. So, glutes, inner thighs, squats, core, jump squats. Five, four, three, Two, one. For any of you that didn't start with jump jacks, I want you to do it right now. Good morning, Uncle Joel. I love that you're here. Who else we have? We have my Aunt Susan. And who else? Who else? Who else? Rob. Gilly. It is spring and it's going to be beautiful this weekend. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Bonnie. All right, guys, one set of jumping jacks, arms overhead. 
Let's go. We're back in PE class. Everything from my head to my toe right now. My legs, my core, my glutes, my arms. Shaking it out. I'm getting mentally ready now. First series, gonna be burpees. I'm gonna do 30 push-ups, 10 push-ups, burpees, Spider-Man push-ups. Then I'm gonna do, oh boy. All right, we'll start there. Then we're gonna do some push-ups with some jacks. And then we're gonna do push-ups with my hand behind my back on the finish. Okay, not jack balance, not one arm, but push-ups, core tight for a second. Ready, guys? Please do it with me. Let's go down. And a hop. That's one. Two. Four. Halfway there, so important to mix your workouts up. Shock and change your body. Keep your heart rate going. Four to go. Three. Two. One. All right. I'm gonna come right here. I wanna see. I give you a chance to catch up because I'm a little fast on those. All right. Kate, the saddlebag. Are you referring to right here? Huh. Jump squats are gonna work. And this next exercise also gonna work. We're gonna do a push-up with a little jack. So down here, holding the push-up, and I'm gonna come down, out, That is no joke, guys. It really forces you to engage your core. Push-ups, chest, arms, upper back, shoulders, mostly chest and triceps. And when you do that jack, you're focusing on your core. Keep your hips tight, glutes tight. Don't drop those hips, you hurt your back. We're 20 push-ups in. Are you ready for the next 10? Good morning, mom. All right, hey Rob, catch up on the pull-ups. I'm 55 pull-ups in so far, guys. I am a little slow today. All right, I love these push-ups. Something very meditative about it. I come right down here. Here it is, and I just hold it. Oh, right down the guy. Not just a photo op, really forcing you to fire up your core, keeping your hips down. One more. Hey, that was 30 
30, 30, 30 push-ups. They come in sh different shapes and sizes. So burpees, Spider-Man push-up, I'm engaging my tries, my chest, my upper back, my core, and a little bit of my outer thighs, your saddlebags, right? Then I did the push-ups with the jacks. Same on the top, firing up the core. That's what I want to keep on doing, and it's keeping my heart rate up. Remember, heart rate up, burning those calories, incinerating the fat, connecting your mind and body. Impossible to have a mindless workout when you're doing plyo. Be safe, be mindful of every repetition. Otherwise, you can get hurt. I don't want to see that, not on my watch. Okay? Good. All right, now, I'm gonna set up the next series. I got my trusty, now famous, worldwide, I'm not gonna show the brand, they're not paying me, cans of tomatoes. I'll put that here. I got my hand weights, three pound dumbbells, very versatile, and I got my trusty ottoman. Who knew it was gonna get this kind of use? So we set up, we set up moves. I'm gonna do a step up, back to a reverse lunge. I like to set up the move first. Stepping back, right angles, working my glutes, my hamstrings. Step up as a little cardio component and balance. Nice. Beautiful, I'm gonna switch legs now. One. Two. Three. Four. Core nice and tight. Remember, any of these moves can be modified you know your body. If it doesn't feel right, stop. Look at your form. Try to tweak it. Okay, here we go. A little explosiveness now. But I want to talk to you a second. I want you to take a half second and take a sip of water, please. So, you see me setting up every exercise. Before I did my push-ups, I did my jumping jacks. Before I did any explosiveness with my legs, I did some squats, then I did some skater hops. I owe you another explosive for your squat thrust, then I'm gonna do that afterwards, right? Very important to set it up. You want your body, your muscles, your brain, to all be awake, connected, and alive. No mindless workouts. You know what, Uncle Joel? There is no age limitation on any of this stuff. I saw a great video, and you're not. You're 76 or 77, you'll be in June 28th, right? God bless you for 50 more years. Uh, I saw a guy 90 years old, play 90, playing softball. Um, and he was playing, he was the oldest one on the team. And he was pitching and he was running and I was like, damn, this is a guy that had that mind-body connection. Because it doesn't just happen. You don't wake up one day when you're 70 or 75 or 80 and go, hey, I'm gonna be fit and I'm gonna be an athlete. It's years in the making. Years of respect, years of devotion, years of focus, right? That's what this is all about. When it comes out fit, right? It's about exercise, it's about movement, it's about fun. You can be silly, but you can be mindful. You can be connected to your body and you can be bouncing around like I was bouncing around yesterday. And by the way, I felt that workout. Okay, so I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna do a set of jump squats to set up the next exercise. Right here, landing in my heels. So it's here, down. Nice and strong. Three, four, five, one, two, three, 
four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, listen up. This next one took me years, years and years and years, right? Fear is something that can get into your head and can sabotage the best intentions in anything we do, whether it's a job, whether it's a performance, dancing, singing, sports, or whether it's in the gym. And I used to watch these guys jump on these high metal steps thinking, there is no way I'm gonna do it. I can't. I'm gonna break my leg, I'm gonna bruise it, I'm gonna embarrass myself. Guess what? I figured it out. And at 59, I can do it. Age is not a limitation. It's not something that's gonna stop you if you're strong and you're young here. So, I didn't go on the metal box. Mama didn't raise no fool. I'm an ottoman, and there I go. That's what I'm talking about. Landing in that squat. That's how we do it. Core tight landing so that you're not destroying your knees. Modify step up. But I think you can do it, Susan. I believe. I know you can. Five more. Last one. And I'm going to tell you something. What's happening when I go down and explode up, I feel it in my glutes, I feel it in my quads, I feel it in my hamstrings, my core. Let's see what my heart rate says. What does it say? It's never right, these silly things. My heart rate feels like it's about 135, 140. My resting heart rate is 50. My heart rate is up. So I'm feeling really, really, really good. All right, here we go. All right, you're gonna anchor center in the top foot, and you're gonna come up, pound, side to side. Taking that hot up a level, taking that hot up, hop up, up. Popping it, popping it, having a good time. Core is tight. And I'm gonna go five, four, three, two, and one. Have a sip of water, man. You deserve it. That was beautiful. So, squat jumps, side hops, bench step ups, ottoman step ups to a reverse lunge. I've worked my legs, I've worked my core. You know, I'm gonna say, Susan, you said Franny overcame her fear. Here's the beauty of children, and they inspire me to be my best self. There's no fear. When we're born, we don't have fear. Somehow it gets instilled in us as we get older. We're fearless. We feel we're invincible, right? Kids will jump off of things and you go, oh my God, and they're totally fine. So, exercise makes me younger. It doesn't make me stupidly fearless because I'm still respectful and I still know that I was born in 1960, but it pushes me to a higher level. Francesca inspires me for all that I've taught her, and she's awesome. You'll see her tonight at 6.30 live on my Instagram channel, David Kirsch. Um, for all that I taught her, and you can see there's some, 
she pushes me to stay on top of my game. She pushes me to be my best self every day. Amelia pushes me to be my best self. They're not gonna take a lazy, a lazy out of shape daddy. It doesn't work that way, okay? So, I'm gonna move this out of it because we gotta take care of it, right? I'm coming right here. I'm gonna do another set. I'm gonna show you a great move, right? So old school, power clean. I'm gonna use my tomatoes, right? You come down, watch this. I'm gonna sit back, get the power clean up, and press it. So let's go down. This two, three, four, five, six. Seven, sitting back in those heels, working my core, my upper body, my arms, my back, my shoulders, my heart. Take it down, bang it up. Oh my goodness, I'm a Russian bodybuilder, man. Powerlifter, 500 pounds. You know what I'm letting go of, guys? I'm letting go of fear. I'm letting go of doubt. I'm embracing energy the power of positivity, and the power of possibility, possibility. Now, I don't expect you guys to have a slam ball. I do compliments of Techno Gym and all this crazy stuff, so, Props to Techno Gym. Props to all my friends at Core Club. I love to miss you. Gorov, I love that you're there every morning supporting me. Susan, Uncle Joel, Mom, Bonnie, all of you, Kate, all of you. It means so very much to me. All right, so, Susan, you asked me if ball slam are plyo. Not, uh, not only are they plyo, but they're awesome anti-stress. They really are. Think about what you want to slam right now. Not someone, something, okay? Right here. And overhead, get in the oblique. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. We can all do it. Now, let's finish off. We can do switch lunges now. If you can do it, this is a great pile. There's a great punctuation at the end of this workout. Right here. Huh. Okay. Okay, bonus, guys. Who wants a bonus? Who wants a bonus? <laughs> My downstairs neighbor is gone. Half the building is gone. We're quarantining, I don't know where they are. But guess what? I feel good. All right. You've seen me do this before, but I'm gonna do it again. Because I think core is a punctuation at the end of a sentence. Right, you want to end your sentence without some punctuation. I'm gonna focus on my core, and I'm gonna do down dog, mountain climber, added stress, and focus on my core. You tell me when I'm done. Side to side. Oh.
That was good, right? That was good for timing. All right, guys. It's a perfect ending music, right? Beautiful, right? You dance with me. So, Melissa, I'm sending you a big hug. Hoping these workouts are motivating you and inspiring you. You're gorgeous inside and out, and I love you. You know I do. So, if this is helping you, it makes me very, very happy. Love to you and your beautiful family. Remember guys, for me, the message. Everything and anything is possible if you set your mind and your heart in motion. You connect it and you connect it to every part of your body. This plyo workout was about engaging head to toe, spring cleaning, right? Getting rid of negative energy, churning the fat. Maybe there's some quarantine pounds you want to get rid of. We're gonna be outside, we're gonna be masked, but outside soon, right? So that's really, really important. If this bumps up the energy of your workouts, that's awesome. That's what this is supposed to do. Flyer is supposed to energize you and lift you to a higher level, right? Hopefully my workouts and what I'm saying to you are not empty words. They're coming from my heart to you, right? We can all be the best that we strive to be. No limitations, no age limitations, no fear, not an option. I believe in you more than ever before. I know you can do it. You can accomplish great things. You can be your best now and every day. And you can lead and inspire your children, your husbands, your wives, your friends, your office mates. You can inspire the people walking down the street saying, damn, that person looks awesome. And they have that energy in their eyes that says, I got this. And if you want, I'm gonna share it with you at a social distance. All right guys, I am wishing you a beautiful day. I'm wishing you a day full of happiness, peace, connecting mind and body, I'll see you back later at 5.30. I look forward to seeing you again. And again, thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Honeycomb.fit. All my workouts are on the IG channel there. We're saving them as IGTV episodes. Check me out. Tracy, Stacy, the amazing Mark Messier. We're all here to help you be your best you. All right, guys? Take care, and I'm going to see you later.